Alright, let's select the physics for our simulation. So right now, uh, we can see there is a physics and physics 2D. Since we collapse uh, our 3D model into 2D domain, so there will be one more physics coming out. So let's open this one, double click the models, and we select steady, gaze, couple flow, ideal gaze, turbulence modeling with the most commonly used caps long model. Close everything. Alright, let's go to the region 2D right here. So uh, right here, we could expand the boundaries and the inlets. We are going to select those physics value here. But before we select the physics value, uh, you can see that there is uh, one more thing called um, mesh conditions. Uh, since we don't need the mesh generation anymore, so actually we could unselect uh, mesh to the region right here. So we just select no mesh it's because this is only for uh, mesh generation after mesh generation it is uh, not necessary for you to select a mesh model so uh, this pretty much doesn't affect our simulation after you have meshed everything so we could unselect the mesh here to make things more clear here all right so the inlet, we could see that the mesh modeling uh, option is disappear. So it is easier for user to select different um, parameters to change the value. We uh, change the total pressure here. That's uh, this is the operation pressure for the nozzle inlet. Uh, normally, uh, in our simulation, we we aimed the pressure to 10 atmosphere or around 1 megapalm but uh, let's start with one uh, 100,000 Pascal and see what happened later all right uh, and uh, the outlet the outlet is just uh, use the default setting of 0 Pascal this is the gauge pressure so when when it is zero pascal it means one atmosphere all right so that's uh, pretty much uh, about the setup uh, next step we could uh, set up some views